My name is Christian Huber. I'm Blake Huber. I'm Ted Huber here at Huber Winery in beautiful Starlight, Indiana. A brief history about Huber Winery in Starlight, Indiana. We were founded in 1843 by my great, great, great grandfather, who was originally a winemaker in the Baden region of Germany came over here and planted the first vineyards in the mid 1800s, both vineyards and apples that we started making both wines and spirits from uh, since the 1800s. Yeah, we focus on a variety of estate grown fruits and also grains here for both the winery and distillery. So lots of different aspects, very innovative, experimental, a lot of unique products that we offer, which meet a lot of different flavor profiles, kind of personalities and preferences in the marketplace. Today, the capacity of Huber Winery and Starlight Distillery is roughly about 80,000 cases, depending on the year and the vintage. Then with more wine, we were able to grow our production facility in a way that was impactful for our production team and what we're doing here at Starlight. So being an old winery from the 1970s, we have old facilities. So working with more wine and, and working with these tanks, we're able to engineer and design and custom build to individual buildings. Because if you imagine as old a facility as this is, uh, ripping old tanks out and moving new tanks in is an engineering challenge, uh, but we were able to overcome it with more wine, working directly with them and Spidel to bring in the right tank, put it in the right space. And Spidel offers a lot of the flexibility when it comes down to the tank profiles to custom use that you need it to be. Uh, more wine, like I said, they're actively out there you know, telling us what we need, the next tank coming in, and we're able to adapt what they're putting out to our programs. Yeah, placement of racking valves, sight glasses, everything to aid in that process during the winemaking, the storage, sample valves, they can be kind of added and subtracted from certain situations. Spidel's really offered us a large array of opportunity to have a variability of tanks within our facility. Obviously, we have a lot of different products, spaces. You see behind us, we've tripled the capacity in the same amount of area of tank space from our traditional tanks now to our stackable Spidel tanks. Because obviously, we know each vintage offers a different kind of capacity, and so we're able to really go through and maximize our efficiency of our cellar each and every vintage, each and every year. You have to give it to the stackability of these tanks. They're really, really easy to maneuver around and be able to do individual vineyard lots coming out of the same big stack really gives us a lot of flexibility when it comes down to, like Blake said, the vintage to vintage variations. I would say another unique quality of the Spadel tanks that we have here on the property are of our variable volume tanks that allow us flexibility in our distillation side of the industry, as well as some of these kind of small allotments of wine that we're able to take individual barrels of bourbon and pump those directly over for our single barrel clients and bottle those without any filtration, without anything, and allow us that flexibility not to tie up larger tank space. Yeah, no details missed with those smaller tanks, like I said, from the racking valves to the way they lay them out. They're a high quality and very easy to use. And like Blake said, the single barrel program of us at Starlight is very huge. But having those nice quality tanks in and around elevates the experience for the end consumer. All right, one of my favorite features is the cleanliness. Being a winemaker in the 80s, dealing with some of the tanks we had in 1980s, moving into the 90s, cleanliness, welds and fittings and things like that. The modern tanks, the ease to cleaning them and keeping them up and, and adapting is, is a great feature that we have today. The finish inside is nice, the 2R. Most of the time we're able to knock down most of the tartrates and any other kind of stuff that builds up on the sides um, without having to get in, but usually it's still relatively easy, so. Everything is like standard. There's no like manways that are like bigger than the other. The uh, sample valves are like interchangeable. I don't have to worry about like, does this one go to this tank? Does that one go to that tank? Like it's super easy, very easy. Both in the wine and spirits, we need, we need mixability within to mix these tanks up. Because both on the wine side and the spirit side, we're doing sweeter liqueurs. And so we're adding sugars, we're adding things into tanks and these mixing things do a great job for us. Yeah, that reinforcement really holds up over time. It's been consistent for us and with those heavy motors, mixers going on to there. We're able to really keep consistency through the years. We have a few tanks with the mixer on there. Works perfect. Building the blackberry wine or the sweet Marcella, we're always like using it, I would say at least once a week. And so more of the mixers come and go a little bit, but <laughs> the tank's just been solid throughout the go. So it's been, it's been really nice. 
in our distillation side of our company as well, and also the wine, we have some taller, skinnier fermenters as well with a glycol jacket, which offers us the maximum thermal efficiency on our fermentations. We're meeting those max capacity. In the distillation side of things, we have two to three day fermentations going on. So having that efficiency allows us to really maximize our flavor production and create the highest quality spirits as well. Uh, working with more wine uh, on these older facilities that my father built years and years ago in the 70s, bring the tanks in, maximize the capacity, the ease, the cleanliness and everything. More has really helped us over the years bring these old facilities and modernize these old facilities into what they are today. The tank is like the canvas that you start everything with. So having that high quality, having that team at More Wine really offers these artists and us as the producers the ability to create these special products for the marketplace. Working hand in hand with the engineers and with More Wine, we're able to put together a winning program that allows us to do more in less space.